G'day and welcome to Tommy's Tackle Box. Today we're going to go through freshwater lures. Um, so basic, we'll start off with the most popular and that would have to be the Atomic D Chubbies and Jackals. As you can see here, nice round little lure, it's got a great rolling action. Um, you'll see with most of the lures I've got a preference for purple. Uh, the bass just love them. Most fish do love purple and pinks. So these ones here you have uh, your deep diving, these are great for trolling behind kayaks, they sort of get um, one meter plus, get down a bit deeper, um, fantastic little lures. Um, on the other end of the spectrum you've got the shallow diving atomic chubby, so you can see with the nose of that one, that only just gets underneath the water, it's great in shallow streams and um, fast running water. Um, areas with seaweed not far below the surface, great little one to stir up the bass. Then you've got your medium diver. So this is great for sort of um, deep um, little river holes. This green here, that's a great natural colour. You've got the little rattle in there, fantastic little lures. So D chubbies, highly recommend them. Also got these little fellas here. These guys are just um, imitation D chubbies. Good to have in case you lose your favourites or you're um, fishing rocky um, or loggy areas where you're scared about getting snagged or you might lose your lure. This little one here, half the price. It's um, low gloss so just drew on some patterns there just to make it a bit more enticing and then just the single treble metallic. I've also got a slightly bigger one. If you are chasing the bigger freshwater fish, great for yellow belly. Um, redfin, the large perch varieties. Then moving on, we've got our rattling lures. So these two great little bass lures attach up the top. Um, really strong vibrating action, sort of swims at a middle level. We've also got the switch blades here, as you can see. Love the pinks and purples. Great vibrating, good casting, um, very attractive to the bass. Then we've got a little Barramundi inspired freshwater lure uh, with a one meter plus diving. The oranges and the golds, um, just like the little Dominsky bait here and the Elko, great brim lures as well. Bass love them. So uh, pretty much if you're looking purple, golds, oranges, you can't really go wrong. Then for my favorite casting lure, have to be this Atomic um, Chubby Minnow. So got the same sort of purple markings as my deep diver. Great, um, bit of orange as well, so perfect. This is also, this little black atomic is ideal when it is very bright and you don't want something that sort of looks too unnatural. That bright orange also attracts them as well. And then moving on, we've got our micro mullets. These are just great all round lures. Um, flathead especially love them, but all sorts of freshwater fish, uh, very deep diving, very strong action often digs up in the bottom, so creates some action down there. Uh, great little lures. Now I've got some more trolling lures. If you find you're having great success on the minnows, this is the diving version of the minnow. It is a fantastic little lure, pretty natural coloring, so not too ambiguous. I've got some other little diving lures. These are more estuarine, but you'll also find the big freshwater species will hit them. Also got some more little casting lures. This little fella looks like a baby trout. And then also your orangey brownie, great little brim lure. Then moving on, you've got your spinner baits. These are fantastic for bass, cods, all sorts of varieties. Um, you've got the willow blade at the top and then the little spinner at the bottom with the skirt. Purple, my favorite. Also got from the Kokoda a new range that comes with a few alternatives. You can see this hook here. It adds on to the back if you are getting bites on the tail. Also got this little um, soft plastic here that you can attach to the first hook when you've got the second hook here. Um, just to make it a bit of a bigger, more imposing lure if you're after those big Murray cod um, or the bigger fish. You can also take this skirt off and just have the plastic or even just have the metal head. So with this Kokoda camo, a um, lot more natural looking. Also the great thing about these, you can cast them next to logs let them sink down, and while they're down, they'll get a um, helicopter action going down, so you can actually get a lot of hookouts while it is sinking. Also, with the way that the hooks are positioned, bouncing off the bottom, not going to get very many snags. There you have it, guys. That's a great little freshwater collection, so get out there, get amongst it, 
and hope you get some good fish.